Hey, Colts, it's Mrs. Haladin here with your weekly announcements. I hope that you're having a great day. Um, this week is a fun week because it's Spirit Week. And so every day we get to dress up and do something a little bit fun and out of the ordinary. I can't wait to see you in your outfits and your costumes and whatever else you decide to wear. I know I am looking forward to Sports Day on Tuesday. I will be all decked out in my Steelers gear because they're 8 and 0. So I can't wait to see who you're wearing on Sports Day. Let's jump into our weekly announcements. This week um, is the start of something super fun. We've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now, but this is it. It is book fair time. Miss Espinosa has put together an online book fair where you can browse for books and with your parents' permission, you can buy books online. There's a website that your folks could help you visit and I'll send that information out to them. The book fair starts on the 16th Monday and runs all the way through Thanksgiving break. And a special little thing is that um, a little bit of every book that you purchase comes back to our school so we can buy more books for our school library as well. So find something fun that you're excited about and enjoy a good book. And thanks to Ms. Espinosa for putting together our virtual book fair. All right, I need to share a little something with you. I learned this week that some students have been using the sinks that are by the classrooms for filling up their water bottles, but that's not a great idea, friends. Those sinks, we put water in them so they're usable, but we don't change the water in them very often. However, the black uh, device on the right, it's called a Cambro, is refilled every day with fresh water, and that's where you want to refill your water bottle from. I know it's not quite as fun as the automatic hand washing station, but it's safer for you and for your water bottle. So if you need to refill your water bottle, please use the black water filling device on the right. It's on a black cart instead of using the hand washing station. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Okay, we have lots of fun staff on campus, but one person who's always got a great smile and lots of laughter is Mrs. Yoder. Many of you actually know her as Miss Sandra, so I'd love to introduce you to her and let's learn a little bit about her. Hey, Miss Sandra, thanks so much for interviewing um, with us today. Yeah, no problem. Can you tell us a little bit about the different jobs you have on campus? Sure. Um, so I first started crosswalking, and then from there I started doing a sub position in kindergarten. And then after that, um, I did a paraprofessional job, and I've kind of just stuck with that. I'm in third grade. I've been with the little girl since kindergarten. And now um, I'm doing the gate. So if you guys see me out there, that's probably where you see me is at the front gate. And I greet all the kids when they come in in the morning. Awesome. That's great. And we love that you're out there and such a friendly face for everyone I love to it. See. Love it. What's your favorite part of working at an elementary school? Okay. That's really easy. I love the kids. Love my job. I used to have a job where I worked with a bunch of adults. It was a human resource position. And so I find it's much easier dealing with kids than it is with adults. They make me smile every day. Um, I'm a big kid myself, so I love working with the kids. They Perfect. make me laugh every day. I love it. Good. What is your favorite book or subject? I love to read. And ever since I've had a kid, I've kind of gotten back into children's books. Uh -huh. And so I'm really into an author called Jerry Spinelli. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, but he has some super cool books. Um, Maniac McGee is probably one of his most popular ones. Um, third Grade Angels, Fourth Grade Rats. And right now I'm reading... One called Ooh, Who Ran My Underwear Up, up the, the Flag, flag Pole. pole. Awesome. It's a really good book. <laughs> so if any of you guys are interested, he's a super good author. I also like Beverly Cleary. Yep. She's one of my favorites. Um, Letters to Mr. Henshaw, I think. So a book like that. It's a really good book to read. So if you guys want to read that one, it's a really fun book Those to read. Those are some great recommendations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can you tell us something interesting about you, Miss Sandra? Okay, Mrs. Haladin. <laughs> I had to go back into the memory bank for this one. So I was trying to think of something that nobody really knows about me. Since social media is out there and you post stuff on Facebook, sure. people see stuff about you and know stuff about you. So years ago when I was in my 20s, I used to do something called Zoonies. So I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Zoonies. I don't know what that is. These are Zoonies and these are my very first pair from 1994. I'm aging myself. And these are what you do when you learn how to spin fire. So I used to spin fire in my 20s. Wow. Yeah, I never did it for a job or in shows. I just did it for fun with all my friends. And so I don't spin fire anymore, but I still Zuni every now and again. <laughs> cool. And so it's super fun. You hold them and then you yeah, can yeah. Do a I don't know if I could do a Look demonstration you. for you. Oh. And the reason why is because they're broke. These ones are broke. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
And so I have a newer pair, but I didn't bring my newer well, pair. Show us how it works. You like so you just put your fingers in like this. Uh -huh. So you go like that. Okay. And then you go like this. Uh -huh. And then you just oh, and so start zooming in. Uh -huh. That is so cool. Yeah, and then okay. you have two going, and then when you really go, then you put like a little light on here at nighttime. Oh. And then it lights up like what fire would look okay. like. And then from there, you got to light it up, and then you go on okay. fire. Miss Sandra, we are totally taking advantage of so. your skills with the. Um, <laughs> with Starstruck and the end of the year talent show. Get ready. I will practice and I will do a talent show for you guys, but I've got to practice on that. Right. It's been a while. Miss Sandra, you're the best. Thank you so much for awesome. today. Thanks Bye for kids. Time. Bye everyone. Ah, she is the best. Thank you so much, Miss Sandra. I hope you enjoyed that Colts. All right, we have so many birthdays coming up in the next couple of weeks. So this week, the week before Thanksgiving break, help me in celebrating the birthdays of Koa N, Maya Kali M, Shay H, Angelina T P, Andy G, Elijah R, Lila L, and Samuel L. Let's give them a roller coaster cheer on three. One, two, three. <laughs> Woo! Happy birthday, Colts. We hope you have a great day. The week of Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving for most of us, but for some of our cults, it's a really special day. Their birthday is in the Thanksgiving holiday. So help me in sending a happy turkey birthday to Arav S., Jacob P., Belessa M., Adele G., Edwin G., Evelyn G., Madison L., Harper L., Ethan B., Charlotte F., Lillian L., Caleb C., and Nora S., Funny thing about Thanksgiving birthdays is Thanksgiving changes every um, year. So not always do these friends get the holiday and a week off of school to celebrate their birthday. So it's kind of a special birthday for them. So let's give them a rubber band cheer on three. One, two, three. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Happy birthday, Colts. And we hope you enjoy a special extra day off just for you. All right, let's take a trip to the Colt neighborhood and see what Miss St. John has in store for us. You might remember last week we learned a little bit about our animal senses and how we could use those to be more familiar with the environment around us. And this week, I think we're going to take a special walk. Let's check it out. Welcome back to the neighborhood. Last week, we practiced mindfulness by using our super animal senses. This week, we are going to practice our super senses again, but this time we are going to practice them by using a ninja walk. Ninjas walk mindfully, as quietly as they can, not making a sound, not even messing up the ground underneath them or mixing the air around them. Ninjas notice everything inside and outside as they walk tuning in to their senses. So if you would like to join me for a ninja walk, go ahead and stand up. So we're gonna practice walking like a ninja silently for 10 steps. Here we go. Nice job. Now we're going to practice our ninja walking, focusing in on all of our senses. So as you continue to walk silently, first practice seeing if you can notice five things that you can see. Now see if there are four things that you can hear. Now see if there are three things that you can feel. two things that you can smell and one thing that you can taste. Okay. 
Great job practicing your ninja walking. If you keep practicing ninja walking, you will have a great sense of focus and awareness of all that's happening around you. Well, that is all for now from the neighborhood. Until next time, have a great week. All right, Miss St. John, that was great. Let's give her an Oreo cheer. Ready? Let's break it apart. Lick it, lick it, stick it back together. Thanks, Miss St. John. All right, friends, next week we have the whole week off, Monday through Friday with no school because it's Thanksgiving. This is a little picture from one of my most favorite books, uh, which is Winnie the Pooh. It was written by A.A. A. Milne. And I'd like to read the quote to you from when this uh, Winnie the Pooh story. It says, Piglet noticed that even though he had a very small heart, it could hold a rather large amount of gratitude. I hope that over the Thanksgiving break that you think about the people and the things and the places that you love and make your heart happy and you make sure to let those people know how much they mean to you. That's what Thanksgiving is all about. We hope you have a wonderful holiday, that you're safe, that you eat lots of whatever your favorite kind of pie is. Mine is pumpkin. That you have lots of it and that you have a wonderful, safe holiday. We look forward to seeing you back on campus on Monday, November 30th. Happy Thanksgiving, Colts. All right. That's it. That's our announcements for the week. I hope that you have a wonderful day, that you enjoy our spirit week, that you have a great Thanksgiving, and I hope that you never forget that it is a great day to be a cult. Bye, friends.